In this video, we'll be talking about Doma's backstory, the upper rank 2. He's one of my favorite upper rank demons in the series. Spoilers ahead for anime only folks. Now, Doma, like any other demon, was a human before. Sort of. We'll elaborate more on that later. He was born to a mother and a father who saw this kid as special. Because he didn't look like them, he had white hair and rainbow color eyes. They thought this was a sign from God and that this kid can talk to the gods. Seeing this, his parents decided they will make him a leader of their cult, the Eternal Paradise, where they tell people that Doma can talk to God. They had people come to the Eternal Paradise looking for solutions for their issues, even asking them if he can help them get into heaven. Doma, on the other hand, was alexithymia. This is a word for someone who doesn't feel emotions. I'm smart. Nah, I just googled that. But seriously, Doma didn't feel any emotions towards the followers or his parents, who didn't love him. I say this because they abused him emotionally and exploited this kid for their own agenda. Doma being emotionless, they didn't understand why these people would come to him for solutions and answers to their problems, since he never heard or talked to any god. Better yet, Doma didn't even believe in god or Buddha. He didn't even think heaven existed, and I'm pretty sure he didn't believe in hell neither. Shortly after, while Doma was still a child, his parents got in a fight about how Doma's father was cheating on his mother with the female followers of the cult. And Doma's mother ended up stabbing him in front of Doma and then she poisoned herself and it all happened in front of Doma, a child. Parents of the year award, right? Doma seeing this was not faced at all. As a matter of fact, he was more concerned about the mess they made. A demon child for real. Somehow Doma saw the age of 20 with no criminal records considering he was a teenage psycho walking around around town. But I guess he was busy with his cult. Sometime in his early 20s, he ran into Muzan, who then turned him into a demon. After seeing Muzan and his abilities, Doma decided to make Muzan the god or the leader of the paradise, the cult thing his parents made. Doma used to go to the entertainment district looking for women to eat. While one day munching on some human being, Doma ran into a kid holding his burned sister who was almost about to die and he had stabs on his back. That kid was Getero and his sister Umi before they became demons. He offered to make them demons so they can live forever and Gitaro accepted and I don't blame him for that. During that time though, Doma was upper 6 and he ate so much women that he became and got promoted to upper rank 2 for being such a monster. Monsters get rewarded in Demon Slayer. Sometime before the series began, Doma fought and ate Kanei Kojo, the flower Hashira, who's the older sister of Shinobu Kojo, the insect Hashira. Also, he's the one who killed uh, Inosuke's parents. He killed his grandparents and his father. And he also killed his mother when she tried to escape when she found out that he was actually eating women and not helping them. Doma says that he would have kept her alive because she wasn't very smart, but she was pretty to look at. It was better to have someone that looked good next to you. Maybe he had some sort of feelings for her, but who knows? The only time he ever felt feelings was after he killed Shinobu and met her in the afterlife. This has been the backstory of Doma Upper Rank 2. See you in the next one. Peace.